It's an animatronic. It's an animatronic! There's gonna be more stupid shit that's gonna pop up. Can't believe that I just I I slipped and I fell. Shit. Howdy doody. It's me, Jamie. It's me. Get in here. <laughs> Thank God. What the hell is this? Pleased to see you too, Kate. Glad you're alive. Listen. I found out some new information. What? That guy on the ferry? That was not Dumet. That was Joseph Morello. He's a true crime writer. I found one of his books. How's he wrapped up in this? I don't know. Have you seen Mark? Not in person, but I spotted him on one of these monitors. Thank God. I was worried sick about him. But I also saw Dumet running around. Really? Maybe if he didn't have that mask on, he would have seen us. Jesus. What is all of this? He's got video feeds, recording decks, a mixer big enough for countless mics. He's watching everything. It's more than that. He's got utilities running through here, hydraulics, electrics, everything. He can control the whole building from here. How far down does it go? This all connects. This is how he's getting around the house. Charlie would say this guy is a fractured psyche. That he's wearing a mask to put what he's doing on a different personality. That's probably just his theory because he can't reconcile a human doing this stuff. I think it's a mistake to say he's just crazy. He is in full control of what he's doing. He's just not wired like the rest of us. That's not crazy. Crazy implies out of control. Look at this place. This is methodical. That's not crazy. No. Chicago Police. Mr. Monday, this is Chicago Police. Can you open the door, please? Mr. Monday, I'm Officer Stanley with Chicago Police Department. Can you hear me, sir? Which is Monday. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. Uh, dispatch, this is Officer Stanley. I, I need assistance at... 8 West 50th Street, requesting immediate backup. I'm in Agent Monday's apartment. There's, there's blood everywhere, and, and a body. I need immediate support. I think... Oh. Dang, he got fucked. 
He got fucked. Bad parenting can definitely be a factor, but I mean, it could be a shitty dad just as much, or an uncle, you mind, any Jamie? adult figure, really. He's been tracking us since we arrived. Mark was last seen in the basement. Don't you read any of our research? Mm, I just set up the lights. Charles? I'm sure he fits the Furnace. profile. Okay, so he, bullied as a kid. He doesn't know that anger. Charlie is dead. As an adult, yeah, I mean, he's either an extreme overachiever or a cipher. Nothing between. Yeah, he doesn't know that Charlie is still alive. So Charlie has an advantage. He likes being in a position of power, especially over women. Okay, cool, but why? Lots of people put up with that stuff and don't turn into killers. Aside from the unhealthy obsession with H.H. H. Holmes, he's copying the... Take a look at this. What is that? Is it gonna show the me? The guy we saw murdered. Was it set up? There was no groundskeeper. We saw a guy in a yellow jacket with her stuff. I guess that was Mr. Demet. What? Can what we use this gear to find a way out? What happens if I press Maybe the button? Maybe we can open those shutters in the lobby. What would have happened? don't know where I'm going. I'm not gonna fuck this one up again. Harrison, Harrison Lee via death, asphyxiation, reset trap before the next group arrives, Lewis Lee drowned, fish bo body out of a pool, fish body out of a pool, Cecil Hole, death from blood loss, after impalement on the sundial, body disposed of, Kurt Hole, so this was the, this was the last people that came here, this is what happened to them. First, are we? It's us. is everything about me what jesus it's it's about us not not just you <laughs> jesus uh name of wow self-destructive tendencies impulsive looks like i've got ptsd and I'm Caucasian. Wonder what kind of Caucasian. Okay. Fair. Fairy man. What? Okay. Aaron Keeman. 
Man, she was born 1998. She's young. She Asian. I think she's of. I think she looks more like Indian. Uh, inhaler, inhaler, asthma, self-confidence issues. Yeah. Recently treated for acrophobia. I can't get past the point. I can't get past the fairy man. Borderline narcissist smoker. <laughs> He's profiling us. Sit down here. What is this? Hi, Mr. Monday. This is Lucinda Price from Twilight Prairie Carol. I tried to call you a couple of times. We, um, Footsteps are scaring the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, okay, so this is how we progress. Alright, let's just do this. Over here! Look at this. It's all his little tricks and moving walls and crap. Nothing in this shit box is real. He controls everything from here. It's a murder factory. You're right. We should use this against him. All right. What's your plan? Okay, look. He's in here, right? So we get him to go down this hall and we trap him between these two moving walls. There's no other way out of there. He'd be stuck. Okay. But how do you make sure he goes down that hall to begin with? One of us is going to have to be bait. No, no way. It's too risky, Jamie. So is letting him run free. I'd say that's more dangerous. Come on. There's no second chances here. It's my plan. I'll be the bait. If you're sure, just if it looks like it's going south, get the hell out of there. No argument here. Whoa, what the heck was that? You could use that as a weapon if need be. I'm gonna hang on to it. I'm more likely to need it. Okay. That's enough of a moment. Let's do this. Stick to the plan. Obviously. So how do we get out? Third floor must be a work in progress. Okay, be ready. You're gonna have to time it right to trap him and not me. Oh God. All right. I can't fuck this one up. Otherwise Here I clamp her. <sighs> I need to pay very close attention.
Head down the hall. Keep to the right. Was this on the map? I don't know. Almost got me. Almost. Almost got me. More rooms being built. This guy's got, like, the godliest timing of all. What? What the? What run? Bitch. Okay, I can't fuck up. I cannot fuck up. We gotta do this, man. We gotta be on point. <laughs> oh my god, I knew it. Up. 
This is where I could die. symbol on it. What, what, what does it... No! Move! Move! Reverse it! Ah. Bitch, what do you... Oh my god, what does she think ah. she's doing? Jamie! Uh, Push okay. the button. I think... I think when I hit this thing, the wall will go the other way. <gasps> Towards me? You mean? Yeah. This thing will kill me if I don't press it. <laughs> Wait! I know! If I do press it, then you're the one that dies. Goddamn Dumet! This is exactly what he wants. He's making you choose which one of us dies. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. playing this game. I can't do this. I won't kill you. Fucking shit. I'm sorry. Oh my god. It, it gave me the chance. Can I? Can I like do something with it? Let me do something. I don't want to die. How the fuck do you do this? Fuck you, Jamie. What an excruciating way to go. Jamie pressed the button to kill Kate. I know they didn't always see eye to eye, but I didn't think she'd be that cold-blooded. It's a catchy tune, isn't it? Erin's Don't Be Scared song. Sadly, it didn't work. Meanwhile, Charlie has proved himself capable, surviving the furnace and every other obstacle. Who would have thought it? Did the hint I gave you earlier help? Perhaps you'd like another. Let's see if Sir Arthur can help us. This is from The Man with the Twisted Lip. Have you read it? You should. A trusty comrade is always of use, and a chronicler still more so. I think that last bit might refer to me. You should get back. I hope these chats are helpful. I certainly wouldn't want them to be intimidating. I'll be watching your progress. As always, watching very closely. <laughs> <laughs> 